Should we wear them? And if so, who should wear them? Do they protect me or the other person? And which types of masks make sense at all? In many Asian countries, face masks are regarded as one of the main weapons in the fight against the coronavirus. And in China, it's even forbidden to be on the streets without a mask. Life as we know it has really taken a paradigm shift from the used to be routine to where we are at now and at the pace things are moving at the moment. This is poised to change forever in the way we look and carry out things. It's for this cause that taking care of ourselves and others has become very vital as it is right now in making sure our lives are safeguarded. Coronavirus cases are waving up rapidly and everyday people both in governments and private sectors are looking for solutions that can help fight the spread of this deadly pandemic that has stormed humanity. As the status quo has changed and the new normal warrants everyone to step outside wearing face masks as the new order and change in policy. A change in policy which could just potentially be a change in culture as we all get used to certain new trends to keep safe. As of last year, no one could have ever anticipated that face masks would be one of the best-selling items worldwide in early 2020 and beyond, as long as the pandemic stays afloat. However, due to the novel coronavirus crisis, this unthought of item has become a daily necessity for many people today world all over. Brief Evolution of Masks The preliminary traces of face mask-like items dates back to the 6th century BC, which were noticed on the doors of the ancient settlers' Persian tombs. Some images of people wearing cloth over their mouths on the wall drawings. A kind of scarf woven with silk and gold threads from the Yuan dynasty, 1279 to 1368, is believed to be the earliest object in China that is similar to today's face mask. Fast forward in the 19th century, designs of the mask took it to a whole new level. After Scottish scientist Robert Brown discovered Brownian motion, which facilitated evidence of the protective effect of musk as dust proof. About 21 years later an American, Lewis Hasley, saw the need to design and make a mask, targeting the mind personals at large, which registered as first ever patent for a protective mask. A history milestone in its accorded area. Masks at this stage were closer looking to gas masks. In 1861, French microbiologist and chemist Louis Pasteur proved the presence of bacteria in the air, which made more people pay attention to the design of modern masks. For example, a French doctor created a mask made of six layers of gauze and sewed it on the collar of a surgical gown in 1899. The doctor only needed to flip the collar up when using it. It gradually evolved into a form that could be freely tied and hung on the ears with a looped strap, thus giving birth to the modern mask. During the late Qing Dynasty, 1644 to 1911, Chinese medical scientist Wu Lian invented a mask made of two layers of gauze called Wu's mask in response to a plague in northeast China. This mask was highly complemented by experts in different countries as it is simple to manufacture, has a low production cost, and the materials are easy to obtain. The SARS epidemic strike in 2003, this prompted the last large-scale use of masks in China, which spread as a result of smog in 2012. That year, models that we are now familiar with such as N95 and KN90 were born, which are the recommended wearable that can filter out this fine particulate matter, gaining its fame and recommendations thereof. The M3 mask is acronym for Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing Company, the company which has produced these masks since 1967. Interesting fact to know as well is that, the initial idea of M3 design came from women's disposable bras. Hence its shape and similarities. One of their employee proposed the inspiration that a disposable mask could protect workers' noses and lungs in harsh operating environments, such as mining, construction, surgery and smelting organizations. With several outbreaks of infectious diseases and flu, and the rise of smog from modern industry, masks have continued to evolve to better filter viruses and pollution. And with the latest pandemic that has hit the world all over, which have insanely shifted the focus to protection gears and mostly masks. It has resulted in the scarcity in supply on the market cause of the high demand and low supply. 
hence a shift in focus of creative businesses and companies to partially halt Bucines as usual manufacturing and designing service and use their skill and expertise to facilitate in the making of masks. The skill has been shifted to domestic strategies ideas with the do-it-yourself DIY Creative technique and as much as these creativity, design, and art in manufacturing has intensified in order to meet and deliver to people, for them to protect themselves against the virus. There has been resistance with some people on wearing face masks. With complaints and excuses attributing to. How do you eat with a mask on? How do you breathe without feeling uncomfortable wearing them? How can you talk and many others? Several companies in different fields have come on board to redesign and develop cool and dry face masks to help solve some of these issues raised. Some of these companies are from different industries that have never produced masks before. From kick startups to giant firms with their own expertise. Ranging from high-tech cool materials to interesting ideas like putting refrigerant packs inside masks. I will look at two companies that are taking the lead and playing a role in this. Donut Robotic Sea Mask. The idea of a modern tech company is shrouded in glamour, cutting-age tech, and a collaborative atmosphere. I introduce you to a Japanese startup Donut Robotics, which has come up with a technology solution that can help us communicate better without compromising on our safety. The C-Mask is a Bluetooth-enabled face mask that is also connected with the internet and can help a user transmit messages and translate Japanese into eight different languages. This white plastic sea mask can transcribe speech into text messages, make calls, or amplify the mask where Aries's voice. With functionalities of A. Clear voice filtering. Able to connect with smartphone. Cool looking design. Clean material. And able to combat with coronavirus. Looking at how it can be difficult for people to speak louder from under the mask, the tech in this is not only able to amplify the audio of the user, but also and comes with a native app that helps users transcribe audio into text messages. It's hot today, too. As per the company, the C mask can also be worn over a regular mask. We worked hard for years to develop a robot, and we have used that technology to create a product that responds to how the coronavirus has reshaped society, said Teisu Kono, the chief executive of Donut Robotics. The C-Mask can connect to various Bluetooth-enabled devices. Donut Robotics built a prototype connected mask within a month. By adapting translation software developed for its robot and a mask design that one of the company's engineers, Shunsuke Fujibayashi, created four years ago for a student project to interpret speech by mapping face muscles. Donut Robotics' first 5,000 C-masks will be shipped to would-be buyers, with the starting price of about $40 per mask, and to also additionally generate revenue from subscriber services offered via an app that users will download. With the initial market of Japan, aiming at a mass market that did not exist until a few months ago. Starting in September. Then to other countries. Needless to say, it gets better. As per the startup, the mask can also make phone calls. Beat as Nosy. Hi, my name is Karina Kuinga, and I'm the creator of Nosy. To empower people to protect themselves, as the lead designer say it, is the trading slogan for this product. Nosy is literally a breath of fresh air according to a company called Etha, which is product design consultancy based in Dorset, UK. The design team are made up of former Dyson engineers and young aspiring designers. For anti-pollution masks to be effective, they need to be worn tightly to prevent air leakage, which makes correct usage impossible to do for prolonged periods of time. Nosy is designed to maximize your protection from air pollution and allergens by filtering indoors and outdoor pollution for extended periods of time of 100 hours in counting. Its activated carbon and HEPA filters mediums breakdown, toxic gases from fossil fuel emissions, carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and volatile organic compounds box, and protects you from particles that are 0.03 microns and larger, including pollen, dust, lint, mold spores, smoke, pet hair etc. Inspired by Elon Musk's Tesla's futuristic Cybertruck. 
The creators fell in love with the lines and angular corners, and wanted to capture a sense of momentum with Nosy device. The grille on the lower edge of the Nosy is both functional and a design feature. The four parallel lines contribute to Nosy's signature solid and minimalist appearance. It has got a silicon seal that makes sure it parts to the size of your face and nose, and a clip that makes sure it holds and does not fall off. Made with an eco-friendly shell which is biodegradable. A recyclable magnetic clip and cases made out of plant fibers. By not aiming to replace a N95 respirator, Nosy's team was free to develop a product that still filters over 90% of the air you breathe, but that you can comfortably wear for a much longer period of time. With Nosy you can have 8 to 12 hours of clean air, instead of 1 or 2 hours of the normal musks. The single biggest hurdle when protecting against air pollution is the time limit imposed by how uncomfortable N95 respirators are to wear. If you are not uncomfortable when wearing a mask, this means there is air leakage making your mask up to 68% less effective. Institute of Occupational and Environmental Medicine Have you ever thought about the first person that wore sunglasses or headphones? Well this could be you. Nosy is the fashion accessory of the future. For Nosy to be worthy of our modern standards of living, it has to be so much more than a wearable air filter. Nosy has got a tight-fit silicon seal, which makes it seamless to put on and take off. It is also small and lightweight, only 5 grams. So you can take it everywhere you go. It is waterproof, meaning you can wear Nosy indoors, outdoors, on a plane, even during a rainstorm. The downside to it though is it's only effective if one does not breathe through the mouth. Also it's hard to use them if you have got a running nose. What's your take on the evolution of these high-tech masks? Would you be willing to acquire one of these? Or would rather stick to what you are by now used to? Whether you choose to wear a colorless mask, a refrigerator mask, any type that exists now, or will come up in future, or still stick to not wearing one at all. One thing is for sure, coronavirus is here to stay, more than we thought it would. And has affected us, world all, over. On how we conduct ourselves, Whatever we do let's be more responsible in making sure we are all safe and stay that way. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up, if not, please feel free to dislike it. And that way it will enable me to improve my videos and make them better and interesting for you. And don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one.